Mimi Five. Well, today we're going to be talking about Times Frags. We're going to look at some of the process that we use to cook a perfect egg, a perfect omelet. Okay. Well, first we need to find some eggs. Yeah, of course. If we don't have eggs, how can you cook eggs? Well, find the one that you like the most. Maybe chicken eggs. Yeah. Then collect them into a box. Maybe you get one egg, or maybe two eggs, or maybe three eggs. I don't know. It is because of the people that eat those eggs. Maybe there's whole your family. You can have five eggs. I don't know. But you still need to collect some. My family, just me and my dad, will eat almond eggs. We would just need two eggs. My mom doesn't eat I like to eat that. Well, after we have collected all of those eggs, all of those wonderful eggs, we carry it home. Yes, of course, we carry it home so that we can start doing all of those projects. We carry it home, but we don't need to carry by a truck. If we don't have a truck, just carry by a motorbike or maybe just a usual bike. Use all the devices and other transportation that you have to carry that X. Okay? Well, then you go home with all those X. Maybe you will put some of them out and count all those X. Maybe you find this box and you don't know what it is. In. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, six X. Well, I just need four eggs. I'll put away two eggs. Well, we take up four eggs, and then the two eggs are inside the box. We'll put the box inside the fridge so that we can save it for later when we need to eat the eggs again. Well, we have four eggs now. Let's start cooking. First, we need to have the pan out. We need to cook have a recipe right do you know this recipe for almond eggs well first you need a pan then put in some oil wait for a little bit while you're waiting um you know if you're making almond egg not those bold eggs like these kind but omelet eggs you trap it on a bowl crack all of them on the bowl then swirl mix them together for the white part and the red part to be mixed together. Well, after we mix all of them, maybe you can add in a little bit salt or pepper or peppery, I don't know. But just add in some of the spicy things that you like, I don't know. Then you, when you see the pan, the oils inside the pan was hot enough, now let's start cooking. Use maybe a spoon, a big spoon not, right? Or maybe don't use a spoon, just use a flipper. Remember, just that to flip it. Well, you pour all of those liquid from the eggs out onto the pan. Remember, pour it carefully without the oats on your hand. Then, wait. Wait for me one to two minutes. You see, it's starting to be cooked into an omelette. Use that splur, split it up. Maybe you wait for some more seconds and you turn off the stuff to finish. Then just put out, maybe, um, like in our countries, put in some leaves, put in some more car, or maybe put in some salt. It looks really nice. Or if you're cooking, those eggs are not only swamp, you know. We would just, we would just crack it onto the pan. Well, you see here, there's a foil. You crack it and then you put all the liquid inside the pan. Then it's going to be having that egg for you. Well, cooking eggs are really easy. But did you know any more ways to cook any more food? Like cooking noodles? I bet that you know how to cook oil, how to cook noodles. You know, first we just need some noodles. We need some boiled water and a big pot. 
hot enough for all of those noodles. Remember some of the um spicy stew. Tell them too, or maybe if you buy a bag, a bag of uh, noodles before, that's real easy. But if you cook those noodles, like for you no, know, just put those inside the hot bowl where hot water is at. That yeah, remember to turn the stove on and wait for a little bit. Maybe you can add in some of the salt or, yeah, arjun number one, or maybe some spicy, some peppering, I don't know. But just add in all the things you want, maybe add in some meat, yeah. Well, you see that, you just wait for a little bit, prepared for a bowl. Then, you know, take all the noodles out. Maybe if you want to drink some of the water, take some water. Maybe if you're cooking like noodles in those package, we just need to find a bowl. Put that part of noodle inside. Put all of those sauces inside. You just use some hot oil, some hot water. Pour it inside a bowl. Wait for one to from two to five minutes so that the noodles will be cooked enough. There you go, you finish that. Or maybe if you cook fries, yeah, that's another thing that I know to cook. First, just took some potatoes and cut it into small slices, you know? Then put it on the fry pan. Fried it with hot oil, just like the eggs. That would be really yummy food that you have never tried before, I think. But fried for the things that I know you have eaten before. Maybe you didn't, maybe you have, but just things like that. Okay? Or maybe if you know the way to cook soup. Maybe you know how to cook soup too. First, you just need some vegetable. I told you it's vegetable soup. Just put some vegetables, cut, chop it into small slices, and put it inside. Just put in some sauces and all of those things to make your soup to be better, so that it tastes better for flavor. There you go. You finish that soup. I mean, you cook rice. There's many things that kids like us and cook, right? Well, nothing in this world is impossible. We are children. We can still cook. Not just adults can cook. Children can cook. You can, I can. Just try some. Your mother will be really surprised if you cook them for her. She'll be really, really grateful about what you have to do. Maybe even you didn't cook it so nice. It tastes not so good. But still your work. You can have it. It's a really good food that you have want to try to cook. Well, just go and try some of the easiest recipes that you know. And have fun with your mom. See you next time. But remember, those cooking safety too.